when you open a mesh file, you can get some troubles with the, the file you get, like holes or problems with the, the topology. So the software is here to help you to get a good mesh at the end. If you want to navigate through the errors of the parts, you can go to polygons and here you have navigation. You can check holes and different things and cycle through the parts and get all the different selection on different holes. As the software to make healing, so just check if the part got some defect and you can see that the software found some defect on the parts. I can add the software to fix it automatically. It will try to fix as much as possible. And if it doesn't succeed, it will tell you that it failed and ask you if you want to try it again. So if I say yes, I can look at what problem is. It failed at the end. Why did it fail? Because there was maybe a little small polyface, a very tiny polyface on the part. So I can press yes and I can continue with that part. Now I could check if the normals are okay. So if I go to polygons, I can fix normals. And if I want, and if it's not right, I can make interactively or entire mesh. I can fix it, like re, uh, flip the direction of the mesh, uh, or make it automatic and propagate or repair tangled polyface. And the software will fix the normals of the polygons. Now, I need also to get a watertight mesh. So to do that, I will do a global remesh. Global remesh is a very powerful function. First, the software tells me here what is the average length of the of the polygons. Uh, I need maybe to get a little bit down. So I will go to 0.15 uh, in order to uh, get as much accuracy as possible from that because I will ask the software to make a clean and manifold solid mesh. So I will just ask the software to do it and it will try to get all repair as much as possible. So close all the gaps, close all the holes on the part, if possible. All right, so it succeeded and you can see that it did a pretty good job all around. If I look at the mesh, maybe I still have some holes uh, or sometimes it's just that I get some inside uh, definition. So if I click on the part like that and I remove what's in there, I can see that I still got three holes. If I want to fill those holes, I can select all those holes and press OK. And now there is no more holes, the part is watertight. But if you think that the part is too rough, you can still smooth it out. So here I can smooth it. I can select my mesh. I can define my smoothness level. More option if I want to check what's possible and I can press next. The smoothness, I can define it afterwards, but here I can see the smoothness. At any point of time, you can make deviation from mesh. So to check what is the accuracy and increase, if you want, the smoothness. And OK. So again, you can make deviation from body uh, to check what is the accuracy. Here it's 0.1 millimeters, so it's not that bad. Of course, if you decrease that value, you will get more errors.